so important to reflect right after you get finished with your renewal season uh, because all those you know, things that happen to you are fresh in your head and it's a good time to make sure that you're evaluating uh, already for the next year. It's a good time to reflect and get it down on paper uh, and really strategize uh, internally uh, with your HR team, uh, with your uh, you know, C-level executives, as well as uh, you know, with your benefits broker. And I think that by doing that, then you can really get ahead for the next year and really start to hit on uh, the areas that we need to improve, right? Whether it's communication with employees, uh, different technology platforms, which can be very different over the last couple of years, uh, or you know, just even considering strategies to help reduce overall costs to maintain or improve the overall offering to your employees. When reflecting on some focus points, you should ask yourself, did our consulting partners deliver? And if they delivered, were their suggestions innovative? Were they customized? And even if the answer to those two are yes, I would still ask yourself whether those suggestions fit your culture and if they met with your long-term strategies. Additionally, you should really look at how the employee experience was. Was it a really good experience for your employees from their perspective? And this way, you'll be able to see what worked and what you could do better next time. A number of considerations can be, you know, different funding strategies, um, you know, uh, looking at payroll contribution strategies, uh, and looking at the overall plan design uh, to make sure that it's fitting exactly what your employees need um, to uh, recruit and retain, which is so important these days.